Hey everybody, it's the Drive to School podcast and uh, it's summer break. This is the last episode of the season. Drive to School podcast will be back in the fall, but until then, you should be following higher things online. You should be following us on TikTok. You should be following us on Instagram. You should be subscribed to us on YouTube. You can get lots of great content, wonderful gospel-centered, hope-filled messages that are here to confront the devil, the world, and the own sinful flesh that uh, all of us struggle with. Hopefully, we will also see you this summer at conferences. We will be in Carbondale, Illinois. We will be in San Antonio, uh, Texas, and uh, we will be tackling our conference theme, Beyond Reasonable Doubt. Uh, If you need more information, you can go to higherthings.org and check that out. Uh, But since this is summer break, since this is the last episode of the season, since this is a chance to sort of reflect upon what a long, strange trip it's been, uh, let's close on hope. There is a a section in Romans chapter 5. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Hope is something that endures suffering in Christ. And that's actually pretty impressive if the Paul can write, hope does not put us to shame because normally, well, um, when we suffer, that's where shame starts to to stockpile. When we hurt and we can't fix it ourselves, that's when shame starts to feel overwhelming. When all of the thoughts and feelings and and troubles of this world and and all of the things that we have done our best to make better and and, and have failed to do and all of the, the sins that we have committed are shown to us by the law and by our neighbor, shame starts to abound. But hope, hope does not put us to shame. Because in the face of sin, we have Christ who bore the cross because in the face of suffering we have a God who suffers for us who can be found in the midst of suffering bearing the cross and bringing us through it it's not that suffering turns into a blessing that just feels good it's that suffering is called a blessing because Jesus is suffering blessings are where Jesus is and if Jesus is in the midst of suffering then be near Jesus and in the middle of your suffering all of a sudden that suffering will produce endurance endurance character and character hope See, it's not just that, like, if you have a, a hard knock life, you will get tough. Um, I guess that's that's true. But what's wonderful is, is that even in the midst of, of producing character, you can also have one that, that hopes. Hope is a profound thing because it is something that dares to trust in more than just the circumstances, more than just the things that you can do, more than just the, the things of this world. We root our hope in this, that Christ is risen from the grave. We root our hope in this, that we are justified by faith, that Jesus, who died upon the cross, died for you and died for me so that we have something more in this world than just the best that we can do and another promise to try harder next time. We have Christ who takes away our sins, who bore them unto nothing by bleeding upon the cross for you, for me, for all. And we stand in this, the the blood of covered cross that forgives us all our sins and here we can rejoice we can rejoice even when it looks ugly because god is working mercy we can rejoice because in this this salvation that has been delivered to you in the waters of your baptism you can rest and you can hope knowing that in the midst of all of the things that that are going on christ is still risen and so hope cannot put you to shame as long as Christ is still risen, you have something to hope in, no matter how bad things are. And that's that's what we've tried to do uh, this season on the Drive to School podcast and really everything that we do here at Higher Things is we point to Christ and the cross and the empty tomb and we ask, what does this mean for the things of this world, for the devil, for the world, for our own sinful flesh? We have tackled this in terms of, of philosophy, in, in terms of mental health, in, in terms of, of just the week after week church services and in all of the things that, that we have done this year uh but in all of it i hope this summer that uh you would hope when we use this word hope we use it in in, well it's a wish for the best and so when we say hope with each other i understand why it it doesn't always feel rock solid like i hope it doesn't rain later but your hope the thing that you're wishing better in is something that's already finished Christ is crucified. He said it himself on that cross. It is finished. He is risen. Nothing can put him back in that tomb. And so now the things that we hope in are not just sort of well wishing that things would get better going forward, but it's something certain that has already been finished. 
we stand in this hope, and this hope does not put us to shame. So uh, we'll see you this summer, and uh, we'll see you in the fall.